Hey friends, welcome back to Lost in the Sauce with Casey. Today we're making cast iron mac and cheese. It is so good. I'm telling you, you have to try this. So throw six tablespoons of butter in the cast iron skillet with some oil. Once it is completely melted, you're gonna add one third cup of flour and we're basically going to make our roux now. So um, by doing that, we're just constantly whisking, making sure that that flour is blended in. When you get a nice golden color, and because my cast iron skillet is honestly so uh, flavorful, it's a little darker than I'd like, but you're gonna throw in three cups of milk and a cup of heavy whipping cream. Keep mixing that. You are going to be constantly whisking away until you get a nice thickness going. And you'll see how this starts to change. You'll notice that it's starting to get nice and thick when it starts to bubble on that surface. Next, it's time to throw in a bunch of stuff. Mostly we're gonna use five different cheeses. So an entire bag of sharp cheddar cheese first, a handful of shredded Parmesan. I do do a scoop of cream cheese. You can put more in if you like it more creamy. I do a half pound of white American cheese. Then you go ahead and put some salt and pepper in to taste. I do use more than I normally do. Then you can throw in paprika or you can use smoked paprika, cayenne, whichever kind of flavor floats your boat. And then toss in a half bag of mild shredded ch cheddar cheese, it's a tongue twister, and a scoop of sour cream. Then you're just gonna keep mixing it until you get a nice cheesy consistency. Meanwhile, I am boiling my noodles. So I'm using the traditional macaroni elbow noodle, but you can mix it bouncy make whatever kind of noodle that you like and then mix that in completely I do only cook those till al dente you can do it a little bit less maybe like only a minute less but um, I like cooking mine till al dente put the other half of that mild cheddar cheese on top stick it in the oven at 350 for a half hour I do put a tray on the bottom in case it topples over when it comes out it looks like this let it sit for like 20 minutes I know it's gonna be hard but don't touch wait until the cheese starts to kind to come down and fall around the edges and there you have it delicious don't forget to subscribe to lost in the sauce for more yummy videos